well welcome to our channel the top tech guy you could like share and subscribe please so today we are cleaning an old theme the wordpress theme that is nulled uh, i'll use an example of wood mat version 5.34 so here's the zip file of the nulled theme i'll extract it um extract it here it's right here Mm, there is another program you need which is called um, uh, grip win I'll include the download link so after installing this program I already installed it it's right here um, or I'll, I'll first run this program this is how it looks I says search in this is where you place your uh, location of the file for example I'll open Woodmart uh, 5.34. So the theme is this idea. Child and the Woodmart, this is the real theme. Now, inside here, <coughs> this is where the hackers or the people that know these themes, the ones that crack the themes, put their malicious codes. So if you extract, uh, I'll give an example of what I'm talking about. So inside this word wood mat theme, you could see the files right here. But if this is a malicious file, for example, class.theme modules.php. So for example, and normally such files are inside a directory where there is a functions.php file. So if you open functions.php I have sublime text is what I'm using uh, you could use the same or some other editing program so if I open with sublime it's right here mm, you could see uh, this is my functions.php and right here before this PHP calling file you could see another PHP which I'm highlighting here which calls the other file I showed you class.theme uh, modules.php so this is a malicious code it calls the other file and if you open um, if you open uh, this file that it calls I'll open with sublime text so everything here is a malicious code everything inside here uh, and in the theme we don't need this, this this file so I'll close it so what we shall do because we need to see which file has this uh, particular line of code and uh, I'll copy this you could delete it you could delete it or oh, I'll show you something here before I delete it mm you remember our um, our file grip so search in um, and um, we are searching inside because we want to search inside uh, this particular folder so which is woodmat so inside woodmat this is the location I'm copying I'm telling grep win this is for windows that search inside this folder I've pasted uh, and, it, and I'm searching for text which is um, this particular one so I'll copy this come to grep so I'm searching for this particular line of code inside the entire folder so grep is um, a good application because it will search inside each and every file you know each and every folder inside each file inside each PHP file and each line of code so if I search if I press search it will search mm, so we shall wait for it <coughs> so you could see it is finding uh, this piece of code in all these functions that PHP files which are in these parts <coughs> so you could see the first one the functions.php 
if I open with sublime it is this one that I already opened so what I'll do I'll delete this code and save and uh, if you search again if you press search again you'll find it will no longer include the other file because I've already deleted so and uh, you'll need to go to each and every for example this functions at PHP which I've just cleaned it will have a corresponding class dot theme dot so you will need to delete this so you delete that so you go to the next functions dot PHP you could open containing folder you could first open with sublime then the next thing you could open containing folder The reason I'm doing this so that I can open where this function is. This function is this one in Sublime Text, but it will have a corresponding class dot theme dot So I'll need to delete this. Then I'll go ahead and also edit uh, and remove this, and I save. <coughs> so we shall do this continuously for the next. Open with Sublime. I'll delete mm, the malicious code that calls the class dot theme <coughs> uh, dot themes dot PHP. Then um, I'll still open containing folder, mm, and I'll need to delete this. Mm, I've pressed the delete button on my keyboard, so. Um, I'll go to the next, open with sublime text, I'll do the same, I'll clean this, I'll save, I'll go back, open containing folder, which is right here, so I'll need to delete this, um, delete, and um, go to the next, open containing folder, Oh, with sublime at first. This one we are done. Mm, yeah, I think this one we are done. Yeah, we are done. So we shall go to the next. Open containing folder. I could delete this first. Still, I know this is the function that um, will be having the malicious code. So I need to delete this because it's what calls the class dot theme hyphen modules.php so I'll delete backspace or delete whichever you want mm, and then you save make sure you save so we shall go back to the group file we shall go to the next you can open containing folder you could delete um, it's right here class.theme hyphen modules.php you delete it please Mm -hmm. then you could open a sublime text and delete because these are backdoors this is where the hackers inject their codes and uh, if you leave this line of code it will call the other function which connects to the servers of the hackers so they could use your website to run ads uh, compromise your passwords and if it's for a client then you could be in danger even if it's personal, it's still still danger. So um, we could go back to grip. Mm, you could search again and see to confirm if you have cleared. So you could see it's not finding any other code that resembles this. Then to be precise, you could use this only and it you could search for this only in the entire Mat fold. So you see, there is no other file having that line of code inside it. Grep is only because it searches for you line by line in each PHP file in each folder. Something you'd have done manually, and it's quite hectic. So I'll I'll close this because here we are done. Uh, make sure you saved this. Uh, sorry. Uh, Save. Make sure you saved each. So we shall close. We shall close this. 
so this is our <coughs> this is the entire folder we you know that we uploaded uh, you could you have to uh, archive it again if you upload it into WordPress in zip format so archive it again and uh, here it is you could rename it if you want um, you could call it your sim whichever name you want mm. so inside this this is where we have our cleaned now theme so there is no malicious code at least for now this is how you can clean it in case of anything i'll re-upload another another video so thank you for watching and please like and subscribe see you